This week, the NASCAR Cup Series returns to North Wilkesboro Speedway for the NASCAR All-Star Race, and I am joined by Steve Letard and our guest today, Rodney Childers, crew chief for the number four of Kevin Harvick. And the last time the Cup Series raced there, it was Jeff Gordon and Victor Lane. Steve, you were part of that crew, but Rodney, you've been out there already this week for Kevin Harvick running in the Cars Tour. What's been the vibe and, and the reaction to North Wilkesboro being back? The vibe has just been outstanding. Um, you know, everybody was just so excited to get in there that first day. And like you said, I've been there for two days already and uh, was on my feet for about 18 hours yesterday, walking around that asphalt in the infield. So um, just super nice. Um, you know, I was there not long ago before it all, you know, started getting rebuilt and, and uh, what a change. And I, I can't imagine what they've done and, and how much they've spent on it. But uh, just super nice on on the inside, uh, all the lighting, everything that they've done. Uh, it's just tremendous. So I think it's going to be a big week. Uh, hopefully we can get everybody in and out and, and uh, everybody have fun. Ronnie, we know the excitement is there with the fans, uh, but I'll be honest, a couple of my buddies I talk in the garage area, they sound excited, right? When we talk about the all-star race, what it could be, what it can be. I think we might have found this sweet spot of going back to these old venues that aren't on the circuit but get guys like you a chance to go there, right? You've seen your heroes run there. Now you get to crew chief a car yourself there. It's got to be exciting. Yeah, it is. And, and you know, I think you hit it exactly right. I, I think we've got to pick these kinds of, of places to go to and have these all-star races. And, you know, it'll be interesting to see how it works out with the old asphalt and how it tears the tires up and all that. But, um, you know, it's just a cool place and, you know, to see how many people were there last night for the three, you know, late model races, I can't imagine what it's going to be like for the all-star race on Sunday and even the truck race on Saturday. So, um, it's, it's just going to be a ton of fun. And, and, um, like I said, hopefully we can all enjoy it and everything goes smooth and, uh, hopefully come out of there with a million bucks. Well, to get to that million dollars, you got to get through uh, 200 laps of what is likely going to be a little bit of chaos. This year, though, simple format, no stages, no inversions. And interesting to me, you only get one set of tires allowed after the halfway mark. So initial thoughts on what we might see and how challenging that, that is as a crew chief. Yeah, and I think that's the part that worries me the most. Um, you know, you've kind of seen what the tire wear has been like at some of the tire tests so far and the wheel force tests, and then obviously the late models the last two days. Um, you know, 50 laps and 50 laps is, is pretty tough. Um, you, you're going to want to try to, you know, go as long as you can on that first set and, and try to get closer to the end. And um, But if you try to do it wrong and um, you, you could get lapped by somebody that did put tires on. So it's going to be a little touchy on that, on that side of things and just trying to figure out, you know, what's the right time to do that. And, and I think the biggest thing is just having a good car and, and having somebody like Kevin Harvick in there that can save tires. And um, that was fun to watch him do that last night and to, to be able to just move up through the field slowly, but surely when, when everybody was burning their stuff up. So Hopefully we can do that again, you know, in the all-star race and, and have a shot at it. Ronnie, without a doubt, the last hundred are going to be stressful. But I want to talk about the whole weekend. Not only is it at Wilkesboro, but we're kind of back to involving everyone on the team. Um, you know, it starts with Friday afternoon. You know, a pit stop will set the starting lineups for the heats. So talk about that, right? Top to bottom. I know racing is a business, uh, but we all started in this sport because we love racing, pit crew members included. Well, what's the vibe in the team knowing they all get to go up there and be a part of this weekend? Yeah, it's it's pretty exciting for us. You know, we've had a, a great team the last 18 months. Uh, our picker guys have really been on it. And, um, you know, I think the thing that would be interesting is just, you know, who has a mistake. Um, you know, our guys can go out there and kick off an 8-5 if it's perfect. And, um, you know, you just hope that you leave the pit box with all the, all the wheels on the car. So, um, you know, it's going to be a little interesting to see how, how much everybody pushes it and, uh, how many mistakes there, there are, but just really cool to have the pit crew involved and, you know, the focus on them for the qualifying and, um, you know, we're all really excited about that and hopefully it goes well. You mentioned Kevin and his ability to manage his equipment and save tires. Obviously that is going to be key this weekend drivers that you guys are, are maybe worried about as a threat, drivers that stand out in terms of their ability to 
manage tires through the course of the run. Yeah, that part's going to be interesting. Uh, we were on the plane the other night and Briscoe said, I don't even know how to, how to save tires. I've never saved tires. So um, it'd be interesting to see some of these young guys and how they do. Uh, he did really well last night in the late model. So hopefully that helped him out. But um, like you said, Kevin's always been super good at that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, I think it just depends on what kind of race it turns into, whether there is any long runs or if it's just a bunch of short runs and beating and banging. So, um, you know, I think we'll just have to play that by ear and see how it's going and, and what kind of car we have. You know, I think the biggest thing for us is we felt like we had the best car at Martinsville a few weeks ago, and hopefully that will carry over to North Wilkesboro and, and have a good car when we unload. Rodney, I know we're talking a lot about the all-star race in North Wilkesboro, but we can't have you on without talking about what this year really is for the four team, right? You and Kevin have found so much success. Um, so I know you're in the thick of it week in and week out. So has the emotion has kind of the moment of this final year at some of these tracks, you know, has it started to sink in or is it still just go and, and try to be as fast as you guys seem to always be? Yeah. And you know, the emotion has, has definitely been there. Uh, we've just done a lot of, you know, great things together and, and um, you know, it's, it's all the way through the whole team. Um, we have such great people and, from top to bottom. And, um, you know, it, it's, it changes every week of what you're feeling. And when that national anthem gets sung on, on Sundays and, um, you know, it, it's tough and, um, we, we've done a good job of keeping smiles on our faces and just having fun with it and just trying not to talk about it. Um, but what we've had the last 10 years has been extremely special and something that will never be replaced. And, um, you know, the things that he has done throughout his career, you know, long before me was, was special also. So, you know, it, it's going to be, um, a fun rest of the year. You know, like you said, we've had fast cars and it's a shame we haven't won a race. We've had, uh, lots of chances and it just hasn't worked out. So hopefully we can start putting that together later in the season here and start knocking out some, some victory lane photos. Kind of thinking about Harvick's last year as a full-time Cup Series driver. And, you know, last weekend was throwback in Darlington, but the throwback kind of continues this weekend for Kevin. He's going back to the number that really launched his career. The Ford for the All-Star Race will be white, and it's going to feature that red stylized 29 that he drove throughout the 2001 Series. What, what was this idea? Was it Kevin's? And obviously, I, I imagine the entire team has been on board. But what's it going to be like to see that 29 on track and Kevin behind the wheel again? Yeah, it's going to be pretty amazing. And and I can't tell you how much it means to him to be able to do this. Um, it was something he was talking about from, from the very get-go. Uh, he brought it up to me and asked what I thought about it. And then... Um, you know, of course, to me, it, it doesn't matter. I want to do what makes him happy. And uh, but once it started to really, you know, start happening, it, it was just, you know, how how can it not be, um, you know, special and important and all those things. And, and a lot of the people from the 29 car are going to be there on Sunday and get pictures made before the race and all that kind of stuff. And it's just going to be a really special moment for Kevin and, and his family and um, you know, you think about, you know, how all that went down from the beginning and, and the pressure that he was under and to go out there and to win a race that early in that 29 car. And to, you just you just have to think about what those guys felt like on that race team. And, um, you know, hopefully that that will you know come true again Sunday night and to to have those people there and to, to see the smiles on their faces and, and have fun with this. Rodney, we really appreciate the time. Best of luck this weekend. Enjoy it. Take it all in. And hopefully y'all will be holding that $1 million checkup at the end of the night. Yeah, I think riding that elevator would be more important than the check for me. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's just a special place and, and can't wait to uh, get out there and practice and see what we got.